This is Jim McLaren. Today we're going to look at loading Windows 10 on an SSD card. I'm just rebooting the computer. It's already loaded Windows 10. Hit the delete button here. Here's maybe different. I'm into the BIOS. Now, I had a lot of trouble with this and finally figured it out. And even on the boot device, it showed by SATA, as you see here, it showed it on my CD-ROM in my first boot device with the CD-ROM and then I loaded Windows 10, but it, wouldn't, it would just go on an endless loop. Keep going in this endless loop, and I couldn't figure out why. Why? Now, there's three things I did to, to correct this. Uh, the first thing I did is I removed all the RAM except for one stick of RAM for Windows 10. I don't know why, but somebody told me that that's the easiest way to do it. So I just put one stick of RAM in. Once I load a Windows 10, then I reinstall all the RAM after that. Another thing you have to do is go on your main, up here in your main, hit main, and then you come down here and you see storage configuration. There's two settings here you have to set. And this is the uh, this is the SSD card that I put in, the Samsung 256GB Samsung SSD 850 Pro. Now I go in your storage configuration here, and you have to make sure this on-chip SATA channel is enabled. If you hit that, it says auto disable and enabled. I didn't enable that. And then on the chip set SATA type, you have to have AHCI. There's your options, IDE, RAID, AHCI. Once I got that all set, then it worked fine after that. So you just go exit and save changes. And that's how I got Windows 10 loaded on my system. I want to thank all my subscribers for subscribing to me. Have a good day. Thank you.